God is good and he is worthy to be praised. Good morning. You are listening to the broadcast of First Amy Church here in Seattle, Washington, a place of possibilities. Make sure you are following us on all online platforms so you can get the latest fame news. Now it is time to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Come with me as we enter into our service. Say bless, 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 come on, come on, come on, we're blessed, we're blessed, we're blessed, here we go. We're blessed in the city, we're blessed in the field, we're blessed when we come and when we go, we cast out every stronghold, sickness and poverty must cease, for the devil is defeated, we are blessed. Rightly is a light in a dark land. Since thou was hid in thine heart, all the Lord's commands, He kept thee above nations, cast thine enemies away. He's standing up within thee. So let me hear you say, yeah. We're blessed in the city. Come on and say, We're yeah. blessed in the field. Yes, you are. We're blessed when we come and when we go. We cast Strongholds sickness and poverty must cease. For the devil is defeated. We are blessed. Thou believest in God only, put no confidence in man. Everything that does concern me, I place it in his hands. Though a host rise up against me, try to ruin my day. They're rushing on one road, but they'll flee in seven ways. Strong hosts, the devil is defeated. We are blessed. Listen, late in the midnight hour, God's gonna turn it around. He's gonna work in your favor. Somebody say late. Late in the midnight hour, God's gonna turn it around. He's gonna work. He's gonna work in your favor. One more time, say late. Late in the midnight hour. God. God's going to turn it around. In 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 around. Say yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Say yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Under my feet, he's under my feet. 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 We 
where the Spirit of the Lord is here. We are so excited that you are with us in our interface service this morning. To our Facebook family, we are packed out today, and we have Temple de Hirsch in the building. Amen. So if we could just do a quick fame welcome wave to someone that you may have never seen before, make sure everyone feels comfortable in the building today. Amen. Hallelujah. If we could all stand to our feet for our congregational hymn, we are tossed and driven. Hallelujah. We are tossed and driven. If you have a book.
morning comes, all of God's saints are gathering home this morning. We are gathering in unity this morning. We are happy and glad to be in the service just one more time. Bye <laughs> and bye, Lord, when the morning comes, won't you Please bow your hearts, your souls, and your mind with me as we approach God's throne of grace. Lord God, come together as your people. We come unifying as your people and say, Hallelujah, God. We're grateful to be able to praise your name one more time. We are so, so glad to look each other in the eye one more time. We're glad, Lord, to give each other a holy hug one more time. God, thank you for the opportunity to be here in your grace and in your mercy. Lord God, come by here, Lord. Come by here. We're praying that your spirit would just, just lift us up as we say, thank you, God, and hallelujah. We come, Lord, as men and women, just delighted to be in your presence and you be with us, Lord God. We thank you for our brothers and our sisters from up the road there. We thank you for... The music, the, the sermon that's about to be delivered through our guest. We just say, God, we're here to serve. And we're here, Lord, to receive your blessings. And we're here, Lord, asking you to just shower us with blessings. Just shower us. Just shower us. Oh, God, we thank you for... Our musicians and for people who are holding the doors. I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. They are here, Lord, and we say thank you for our ushers. We say thank you for every person that's here, every family. We ask you to be with people who would have loved to be here with us, but for whatever reason, they're not able. We thank you, God, just for being with the people who are online, trying to get just a little taste of your love and your care. We say thank you for them. Now be with us, Lord. Be with us. Be with us as we say hallelujah again and again and again and again and again and again and thank you God and let the people of God say amen amen amen, amen. 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 Ah. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. love God. is patient caring love is kind love is felt most when it's genuine, but I've had my share of love, of 
abused, manip manipulated, and its strength misused. But I can't tell, but give you glory when I think, when I think about my story. And I know you favor me because my enemies did try, but they couldn't triumph over me. Anybody ever been there? Yes, your enemies tried, but couldn't triumph over you. Anybody glad about that this morning? That means you have favor. Somebody say, God favored me. God Come favored on, somebody me. shout it out. God favored me. God favored me. Remind God yourself me. every day that God has his favor upon my life. Everybody say, love, love is patient, is patient caring. caring, love All over the room kind. say, love is felt most love when it's genuine. It's felt most when it's genuine. What but love, I've had my share I've of had love, my abuse. Share of love abuse. It's been manipulated. Manipulate oh, people are crazy out there. It's been misused. It's but don't worry misused, about that. Just focus on your glory to God. You can't help, but give I can't help but give him glory. glory. Because I'm still standing today. When, when I, I think. Reason. It's a God. God, 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 God
announcements and events. Today, Fame welcomes Rabbi Daniel Wiener of the Temple de Hirsch Sinai family as we celebrate the birthday of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Welcome and remember to join us for the MLK Day March rally on Monday, January 16th at 11 a.m. We will see you at Garfield High School. Fame in the month of January. Sunday, January 22nd, 11 a.m., Young Adult Service at Fame North. Sunday, January 29th at 9 a.m., Women's Ministry Service at Fame South. Sunday, January 29th at 11 a.m., Women's Missionary Society will lead services at Fame North. The Pacific Northwest Annual Conference Lay Organization, the Richard Allen Legacy Luncheon, happening Saturday, January 28th, 12 p.m. This is an in-person only event at Walker Chapel AME Church Banquet Facility. Fame Lay Organization selects Brother Leonard Williams as our 2023 Outstanding Lay Servant Representative. Congratulations. Tickets are $40. Please see Brother Simeon Rodian or Brother Ted Young.
The month of February is Black History Month. Sunday, February 12th, Founders Day Services, recognizing the founding of the AME Church, the Pacific Northwest Conference Founders Day will be held at Fame South at 4 p.m. Sunday, February 19th, Fame will welcome Dr. John Thomas III, the editor of the Christian Recorder, our denomination's newspaper. And Sunday, February 26th, is Fame's annual tea. Fame Church, 63rd Annual Tea is coming, February 26, 2023. Plans are being made for this treasured tradition. Stay tuned for more exciting details. We need volunteers and your support. Let's meet and make friends. Please contact Sister Camille Moore Jenkins for more information. The new AME Church disciplines are now available. All officers and leaders are required to obtain a copy. The cost is $30. Please contact the church to place your order. Call 206-324-3664 or email fame at fameseattle.org. Fame Church, staying connected. Let's stay connected. Send us your pictures for your birthday, wedding anniversary, or other special recognitions two weeks in advance. Please send to fame at fameseattle.org. Be sure to keep up with Fame news on our website, www.fameseattle.org, and on our Facebook page, Fame Seattle. Man, everybody, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come on, we can do better than that. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Come on, let's give God some praise this morning. Special guest, Temple to Hirsch Sinai. Come on and praise God for our guest. We love Temple. And we love our senior rabbi, Rabbi Daniel Weiner. Come on and give God praise. We want to welcome all of our guests, all of you that are here today. And immediately after service, we invite you to come with us over to the temple. And their young people have prepared uh, pizza. Hallelujah. Sunday afternoon pizza, amen, and we're going to share, and it's geared for young at heart, so that includes you, amen. So immediately after service, we're going to be uh, fellowshipping over at Temple to Hirsch Sinai. Again, uh, let us thank God for the award recipient, Brother Leonard Williams. <laughs> Stand up, Leonard, so we can see you. Amen. God bless you. He has given such dynamic service in so many ways, and he is truly recognized and an honorable person to be awarded this prestigious gift. So God bless you, sir, in your continued work. This month, this next month, this next month, I've been commissioned to say this, so I got to get this right. Now that our church is fully opened, reopened, and is opened, this is a perfect time to meet and greet each other every Sunday safely after each 11 o'clock worship service. So we thank God that beginning on the first Sunday in February, I'm giving you the lead way, so the first Sunday in February, and for every first Sunday thereafter, please come to the church and fellowship with us right after service in the fellowship hall where we will uh, have refreshments and it's an opportunity to meet, mingle, and restore, renew, and develop new relationships. But we want everybody to be on a first name basis. So we want name tags worn so that People can come up to you and, and know your name, and you will know their name. Amen? Amen. 
I believe it was Destiny's Child. Say my name, say my name. <laughs> Some of you have to Google <laughs> Destiny's Child. Say my name, say my name. That's how it goes. But it's an opportunity for us to restore and renew friendships and fellowships, okay? And so we're excited to do that. And the Stewardship and Finance Commission has done just a Herculean job. Can we just give them a hand clap of praise? <laughs> and so as we continue in worship, we do have some community awards to give. And I would ask Rabbi Weiner if he would join me. And uh, Brother Sneed, if you can hand me those awards. First Church and Temple de Hirsch have been in partnership and fellowship and collegialship for several years. And we thought it not robbery today to recognize, to recognize several persons who have been Herculean in their work in restorative justice and also helping us bridge the gap. And so I'm going to ask Danny Weiner if he would make his presentation. Thank you. There, there are two individuals uh, from the synagogue who have been wonderfully involved with leaders here at FAME in helping to do what we're all hoping to do, which is to build on our twice a year opportunities to be together on this MLK weekend and for our Freedom Seder in April. And these individuals are laying the groundwork from Temple's side for a continuing and growing relationship. And those two individuals are Dina Al Hadif and Lori Warshaw Cohen. And it says here, First AME Church in Temple to Hearst, Sinai, with our greatest appreciation, present the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Beloved Community Award to, in this case, Lori Warshaw Cohen and Dina Ahadif for their dedication to advancing a culture of inclusiveness in pursuit of social justice and commitment to creating a beloved community. Our community is so blessed by your faithful service, signed by Pastor Anderson and myself. And they're watching online right now, so we salute you. We salute you. And the first day of me recipients are here with us. And we have two recipients. Drum roll, please. First day of me church and Temple to her Sinai, with our greatest appreciation, present the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Beloved Community Award to Mrs. Frances Carr for her dedication to advancing a culture in pursuit of social justice and commitment to creating a beloved community. Francis Cobb. How can I say thanks? I just give God the glory and working with Pastor Anderson and Rabbi Weiner and all of the people on the committee has certainly been a blessing. We have to continue this. This is God's work. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Sister Francis. God, stay here, stay here. We have another presentation, but I would like for Francis Carr's family to, to wave their hand. God bless you. And I understand Mayor Norm Rice and Dr. Constant Rice is here. Mayor Rice and his lovely wife, God bless you, God bless you. And God bless you. The recipient of this next award has no idea. I mean no idea. 
Drum roll, please. We are proud to present the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Beloved Community Award to someone who has just done super work in this field in so many ways, Sister Julie Burrell. Julie Burrell, where are you? I can't believe this. It was supposed to be three people. <laughs> No wonder Calvin wouldn't share this information with me after I authorized him to start the process. Now he just told me, but I'm grateful to God for the opportunity to serve and to serve with Dina, Lori, and Francis, who's been a trailblazer, trailblazer, truly servant of God. And to this ministers, uh, rabbi and pastor, to give us the opportunity to serve the people and educate the people about relationship building and the need for us to serve the community at large, not only our own community, but the community at large, so they can see that we're believers. That's the only way they know how we touch them. So thank you so much. Stay here with us. Reverend Ray, would you take a picture of us, please? Sister Francis, if you could just remove your mask. I don't know what it is. The older I get, the misty eyes come. But it means so much when you know how people have labored and served and have been in the trenches and have worked in the valley and have been up all night and prayed for other people but never um, think about themselves. The, all four of these people are selfless people. Can we give them another round of applause? You mean so much to us. And so with that, let's continue in worship with the spirit of giving. We have different ways of giving to sow into the work of the Lord. We can share. Our ushers are ready to receive a, your generosity here through the envelopes. Please use envelopes if you desire to give. And then you can also use your cell phone. You, all of you have them. And... You text to Fame Seattle in cap letters to 73256. It should be on the screen. And you can also go to our website and donate there with the donate button. Our amazing, our amazing praise team is going to usher in a, a song as we participate in the offering period. And we ask that you govern yourselves accordingly. God bless you. Yeah. 
sing it real big this time. Come on, when I think. When I think of his mercy and his kindness, all, all I, I want to do is praise him. From the rising of the sun. Do that one more time. Here we go. Bum, bum, bum. When? When I think of his mercy and his kindness, all I want to do is thank him. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, oh, clap your hands and say amen. Zion. Zion, let us say his holy and righteous name. Shall be ready. And I shall be ready. Oh, clap your hands and say amen. All right, put them together. Come on. Come on, Art, play that bass. Break it down, break it down. Come on. Y'all put your hands together like this. When you when you when they meet, make it sound real hard and real loud. Ah. Come on, tell somebody. I need a little room, little room, little room, little room. Little room. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Take it out. Oh, say clap your hands. Clap your hands. Come on, say. Oh, clap your hands. Oh, clap your hands. If you've been. If you've been delivered. If you've been delivered, clap, clap your hands. hands. Yeah. We celebrate this morning. Oh, clap your hands. Oh, clap your hands. If you've been delivered. If you've been delivered. Oh, clap your hands. Everybody, everybody. Oh, clap your hands. Oh, clap your hands. If you've been delivered. If you've been delivered. Clap your hands. Oh, oh, clap your hands. Oh, clap your hands. If you've been delivered. If you've been delivered. If you've been delivered. If you've been Say clap your hands. Clap your hands. Show sure enough deliver. Show sure enough deliver. Come on, praise his name. Praise his name. Say, clap your hands. Clap your hands. Oh, 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 oh. oh, clap your hands. Oh, clap your hands. One more time, here. Say clap your hands. Clap your hands. Amen. But now, Lord, thank you. Thank you for all of the gifts today. Bless those who have and those who might not have. Lord, you use it in your way. We give you the praise and the glory. In Jesus' name, thank God. Amen and amen. Before you take your seat, stand back up and look at somebody and just say, you know, I'm glad to see you today. Now, if you came in with them, that's the wrong person. Find somebody you did not come in with. I'm glad to see you today. the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now give God some praise. Come on, let's give God. We are family. We're family. We are family. It is indeed an honor. It is indeed an honor. It is indeed an honor to present the rabbi, the senior rabbi, Temple to her Sinai. He served as the rabbi there for some 21 years. The city of Seattle, as well as Bellevue, are proud to have him 
as their spiritual leader. The city of Seattle is proud to have him as a civic leader. King County is glad to have him as a mover and a shaking leader. You and I are excited to have him as our rabbi, our friend, and our colleague. You can give God some praise for that. His father was a rabbi, esteemed rabbi, comes from a rabbinic family, wonderfully married, wonderfully trained, socially relevant and conscious, politically active and motivates others to engage in the political process for social justice and social rights, civil rights, and the common good. I'm just glad he's not only around the corner, but he, he's a dear friend. Wonderfully married, has beautiful children, adult children now, and a beautiful dog named Sadie. For those of you that don't know, he can cook some fish. And he is indeed a gentleman and a scholar. His music team is going to come and following the presentation of his musical team, which he is a part, the next voice we will hear and the word that we will hear will be from that of Rabbi Daniel Weiner. Come on, give God some praise. It is such an honor and a pleasure to be with you here today, and particularly to share, oops, sorry, to share with you our soloist and musician and composer in residence, Chava Morel, who is nationally renowned for, this, for the musicality of her spirit. When I worship with her, I feel like I am worshiping in a more intensive way than at almost any other time. We are so fortunate to have her here with us today, and we're gonna share two pieces with you. One's got a lot of Hebrew in it. One is very spiritual, but it's uh, not necessarily from Jewish tradition. If anything, it's more from your tradition than it is from ours. The first one, please. Hello. Ah. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. I was just saying that sometimes this big world feels like a narrow bridge, uh, scary, precarious, and we can feel alone, but we must know that we're not alone. We have each other, and also God is with us. Shared some at home, Koha Olam, Geshet Sar, Koha Olam, Koha Geshet Sar, Koha Olam, Geshet Sar, Koha Olam, Koha Geshet Sar. Shed sun, oh, Koha Olam, 
as I walk along this very narrow bridge, I will not fear, knowing you are near, for I come, for I come, I'm not afraid. when we're building relationships between especially between people who have struggled historically oftentimes we as individuals or as specific communities feel that we are alone that we are isolated that we are disconnected but we have to remember in moments like this that indeed we are not alone if we are here for one another a melody written by Wilco's Jeff Tweedy and sung most beautifully by Mavis Staples. So I got a, I got a lot to live up to here. All right. Thankfully, I have Hava here with me. What's that song? That can't be sung by two. A broken home, a broken heart, isolated. And afraid, open up. This is a raid. I want to get it through to you. You're not alone. You're not alone. Every night, I stand in your place. Every tear on every face tastes the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A broken home, a broken heart, isolated. And afraid, open up. This is a raid. I'm gonna get it through to you. You're not alone. An open hand, an open heart, 
There's no need to be afraid. Open up, this is a ray. I want to get it through to you. You're not alone. I want to get it through to you. You're not alone. I'm going to get it through to you. You're not alone. Good morning, Fame. Good morning, TDHS. We are certainly not feeling alone this morning with everything that is going on in our world. We are here together, and we are here building a sense of friendship, building a sense of family. It is such a distinct pleasure. Uh, I, our congregation, looks forward to this shared weekend every single year and other things that we do together and the things that we will be doing together in the future in particular. It is such an honor and pleasure to be with all of our fame family here. In particular, a special shout out and mazel tov. Congratulations goes to Francis and Julie and Dina and Lori for seeing that we needed to find ways to truly build our relationship, to broaden and deepen that relationship. And they have been working so hard on making that happen, even through the tail end of COVID. And we hope and pray that we will be able to, to expand those circles of those who are involved and committed to our shared destiny in the future. And in particular, I am so grateful to be here with, uh, with Phyllis. Uh, she was here a moment ago, Phyllis, the first lady of fame. Yeah. And Pastor Anderson always gets me feeling guilty mentioning my own First Lady, Cindy. Thank you very much. And as I said a number of times this weekend, I am grateful, as I always am, for my friendship, my sense of brotherhood and connection with Pastor Kerry Anderson, who has again and again demonstrated his courageous and visionary leadership as a leader in the black community, in the broader community, and absolutely one who is sealing those bonds between the Jewish community and the black community. Thank you, Pastor Anderson, for your incredible friendship and support. And you're always, your, your, your capacity to stand up and be counted even when others aren't necessarily there yet. So Pastor Anderson and I are blessed to have been raised in our beautiful, beloved Bay Area, where earth and sky meet water and little cable cars climb halfway to the stars. But perhaps the most iconic symbol of the Bay, linking land masses and communities, is the Golden Gate Bridge. With its massive red towers, large and looping cables, and occasionally swaying span, it has come to define the geography of the re region. But the Golden Gate Bridge is far more than a connector between San Francisco and its Marin County neighbor to the north. It is a welcoming gateway to America. As travelers from the Far East journeying across a seemingly endless expanse of ocean glimpse its unmistakable silhouette, knowing they found a haven in, in a land of promise and opportunity. And as I considered what I wanted to share with you on this day, marking Dr. King's legacy, and at this time in our nation's history, when there seemed to be so many challenges testing our faith and fortitude, I'm thinking a lot about the power and purpose of bridges. For building communities and binding nations in these times demands far more will and conviction than what it takes to raise up even the most impressive span. The Golden Gate Bridge required seas of concrete and miles of steel. 
inspiring the intelligence of the most talented engineers, the skill of the most experienced artisans, and the boundless energy and even the very lives of those who toiled to bring it to completion. It is a feat and a marvel of the physical world, and yet it pales in comparison to the vaunted challenge of bridging the growing divide between peoples in matters of soul and circumstance. So why is this so? Why is this so? Why has human progress brought about victories and miracles, but we still can't figure out how to live together in peace? We conquer new diseases every day, discover and generate new energy sources, and create new ways to communicate and connect that tell us way more than we want or need about one another. In so many ways, we stand triumphant over the natural world even with our tendency to consume and exploit too much of our resources. Indeed, a little humility would go a long way in our rush to create and do more. And yet, we cannot seem to simply get along, to rise above tribalism, to expand beyond our focus on ourselves, to tame toxic nationalism, and to rein in the plague of pride that has left us in so many ways less further along the evolutionary road than when our primal ancestors strolled the savanna looking for a bite to eat without becoming a bigger bite to eat for a saber-toothed tiger. Rivers of ink and forests of paper have been dedicated to diagnosing the soul sickness of our age. We find remedies in faith and reason in the great philosophies of the ages and the most stirring expressions of sacred scripture. But history has shown us time and again that when economic downturns pressure us from within and foreign forces threaten us from without, we turn on ourselves, venting our fears and frustrations on the first people to be isolated, attacked, and eliminated, the different, the unique, and the other. My brothers and sisters of famed church, we Jews and blacks know what it has been to be his history's eternal other. We are the scapegoat for the failures of the powerful. We are the villain that unites the supposedly good and real citizens against a common foe. We are the cause and effect for all that is wrong in the world to explain and excuse the inadequacies and insecurities of the wider culture. They make us into demons so that they can live with their demons. I'm reticent to say, may I get an amen for that, but can I get an amen? Oh, excuse that. My wife's going to kill me later. All right. Anti-Semitism and racism are mutating viruses. Eternal hatreds that shape shift to meet the vicious needs of the moment. When the proud and the powerful need an easy target, they turn poor communities of color, the least, the lost, and the left behind, into inner city criminals, requiring more police and more prisons, driving the soulless stump speech of the candidate without a conscience. When the proud and the powerful look for a boogeyman to blame for the global unrest and economic turbulence that they themselves have wrought, they conjure the crazy conspiracy of the international Jew, a supernatural evil capable of swaying innocent hearts and minds, a fiendish fever dream of world domination that would require far more in numbers and organization than the 0.02% of the world's population of Jews that often can't agree on almost anything. And perhaps most insidiously, when the proud and the powerful seek to divert and distract the anger and frustration of the white underclass away from their lust for power, their pursuit of greed, and their exploitation of the many for the benefit of the few, they blend bigotries into a toxic brew of Jews replacing whites with the wrong kind of migrants who are the wrong kind of color. Our peoples have walked together on the road to freedom from the start, striving to redeem the promissory note of this nation's founding 
from the triumphs of the abolitionist movement to the creation of the NAACP, from battles in this very neighborhood against redlining and real estate covenants to the sit-ins of the civil rights movement. We found common cause in our common suffering and common purpose in the calls to conscience of the biblical Exodus story. And so, it is even more tragic and troubling when some of us turn on each other, undermining the status and successes that we've achieved, betraying the bonds of brotherhood and blessing we've forged together in the fiery furnace of persecution. Jewish racism and black anti-Semitism are real and rare, far less frequent and widespread than some would have you believe. They are the offensive offspring of fear, ignorance, and cynicism. And we must always ask ourselves, who benefits when we are divided? And who is threatened? Who is threatened when we join our efforts into a loving and lasting force for repair, change, and justice? As we sang just a few minutes ago, the famous rabbinic sage, Rabbi Nachman of Bratzlov, taught, kol ha'ulam kulo gesher tsar me'od, the ha'ikar lo lefached klal. The world is a narrow bridge. The key is not to be afraid. <laughs> Reb Nachman understood that to cross from where we are to where we can and should go demands a stoutness of spirit, a honing of heart, and a willingness to face risk and the chance that we might fall and we might fail. The key is to face those fears with faith, with hope, and with purpose. For there will always be those who look to raise walls between us rather than build bridges that bind us. But we cannot let the walls of selfishness stand against the bridges of empathy. We cannot let the walls of pride stand against the bridges of conscience. We cannot let the walls of greed stand against the bridges of justice, and we can't let the walls of hate stand against the bridges of love. One of my favorite facts about the Golden Gate Bridge is that they never finish fixing it. Crews move from one end down the 1.7 miles to the other, constantly refining and repairing, painting and primping, shoring up and securing. And when they're done, you know what they do? They start all over again. Committed to an endless project, reflecting an ongoing conviction, a pursuit of a kind of completion which will never be fully finished. But the goal is not merely to achieve a final prog product, it is a dedication to a timeless and holy process. May we all continue to repair and renew the bridges that link fame and temple and blacks and Jews more broadly. May we rise up above the wedges of conflict wielded by those who thrive when we are divided in a world still awaiting justice and redemption. And may we see in one another's eyes, hear in one another's words, and feel in one another's hearts the true content of our character as we commit ourselves again and again to bringing about the beloved community of Dr. King's dream. Ken Yehi Raton, may this be God's will, and let us all say, Can we give our rabbi another hand of praise? What a word of profundity. And the good news is, the God that we serve is still building bridges. The good news is, the God that we serve is still Building bridges, buildings of relationship, buildings of community, building 
relationships so that we might be one. For those of us that can do this, I stand. I'm going to ask that you stand. God wants to build bridges. I'm opening up the doors of the church. In our tradition, we extend an invitation to discipleship. Thank you for tuning into our broadcast today. We love the fact that you worship with us, and we hope that you are blessed today by what you've seen and what you've heard. If you want more information about our church, we'd love to give it to you. www.fameseattle.org or you can look us up on Facebook, First Amy Church, Seattle. We hope to see you soon. God bless you, and you take care.